My name is Andrea Riggs. I live in Santa Clara, Utah right now. We just moved from Puerto Rico back to Southern Utah. And I actually practice on my own. I, there are some studios that I go to, but generally I teach yoga when I go to conference settings or in big groups of people. So I grew up dancing and doing gymnastics. So when I, in junior high, I was over at Sarah's, my really good friend, her house, and her mom started talking about all these funny poses like tree and down dog and started showing us some poses. And from that experience, I loved it. I was like, this is so cool. You basically are stretching and it's awesome. So that's how I started. That was in, I'm 38 now, and that was when I was 14 years old. So I started practicing consistently from high school on, and I've done Bikram, a lot of different gym type yogas. And um, yeah, I always gravitated to yoga. I've taught fitness for the past 10 years, and I've always kept yoga as my, my, my sacred practice that was for me, that was one area of my life that I could be selfish with. And so I did, and it was just last year when I had a friend, I was finally converting to this space of, okay, I've, I've given in fitness and I've taken yoga and now it's time for me to give back because yoga has given me so much. And I have a dear friend and, and she suggested Baptiste Yoga and I looked into a lot of different types of trainings um, that were all over the world in different areas. and. I did level one in Sedona, Arizona, and yeah, it was awesome. It changed my life. We actually left the Mormon church, and we moved to Puerto Rico for six months with my family. I wrote a book, and Baron did the foreword of my book. So yeah, a lot came from just level one and from Baptiste Yoga. My favorite pose, oh man, that's so hard. I love anything to do with headstands. So right now, for the past year, I've really been working on my forearm stand. I've always done headstands and ha headstands, handstands. Forearm stand is not one that I always did, so that has been my favorite one thus far. My book is called Gypsy Living: How to Unleash Your Gypsy Spirit and Live an Adventurous Life.